Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of I'm in Love with a Villainous. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This dog. <laughs> of course. Because she believes in you. You make a great team and a great couple. Damn, I really thought they would have gave her the benefit of the doubt. Because it wasn't her fault. It was her brother's fault. But because of the fact that she's a part of it, she has to be, you know, punished just as much as him. It's also going to be weird not to have her in the show now because I'm guessing her and her brother are going to be exiled and we're not going to ever see them again. That sucks.
All right. Mm. <clears throat> really? <laughs> oh, hush. Wait, she might ask for Lana to be free. <laughs> Come on, it's nerve wracking.
can we talk about how pretty her dress is? Like, oh, I love it. Yes, but still... Just give them a warning. Let them live a long, happy life. thing yeah <laughs> and besides ray did save his life so he owes everything to her That's the best thing for him. Um, bye. <laughs>
Dang, they gotta go to the Alps. They gonna go in the cold. Who wanna be in the cold? Like, my people up north, I feel so bad for y'all. I can't do it. Damn. I can walk. Mm-hmm. Just goodbye. Right? This is your last time. You'll never see her again. No. It's still messed up that they gotta walk. But she was. But you cared about her. Okay.
but he was like a friend to you, like an older sister. And you loved her. She'll always be with you. <laughs> right? I mean, because you can't really say anything about that. <laughs> yeah, Ray is definitely a sub. I mean, Claire is a dominant as well. I mean... <laughs> Because most definitely, Ray definitely gets off on that. <laughs> the conversations the show makes me have at whatever time in the morning or afternoon when I watch this. Okay, I am glad, truly, that Lana and her family did not get an execution. At least, like, yeah. And it's funny, once again... I predicted that ish in the beginning of the episode because I'm like thinking, yeah, they're just gonna be exiled. They're probably not going to see each other for a really long time, but there might be a point where Claire, when she is older, um, she might go venture out and go find her so that they can have a reunion and such. But it is still fucked up that they got exiled. I mean, yes, that was the best thing for them to do besides the death penalty. But it is good because in a way, Lene can start anew. And the fact is that Ray also gave her the recipes as well. This is the first start for her. This is the first step in that to, you know, make a better life than she did with this situation. So hopefully it is good for her. I just hate the fact that... We won't see her on our screens. We're we're very much at the end of this, truly. And it's always been these three together. And now that we're only going into these two, it, it feels a little sad. It kind of gives me feels to, like, um, TV shows that I've watched where, like, majority of the cast gets cut and there's only a certain amount of people left in the show. And it's like, how can it still be a show? Who is she? Excuse me? Was Ray prepared for this as well? I mean, you know, she's playing the game inside and out. So, you know, she she's she's been well prepared for her. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, as I was saying, like, with with some shows that I've watched in the past where, yes, the cast has been divided in half. <laughs> where, let's say, excuse me, majority of the actors say um, that they didn't sign on for, like, the next season. And let's say the next season is maybe possibly not the final season. I'm giving you the hint, hint, nudge, nudge of Once Upon a Time, a.k.a. one of my favorite shows on ABC, in a nutshell, this is what happened, really. This is, like, season five, season six, I believe. So majority of that cast all decided that they were not going to sign for the next um, season. First, I think it started with the kid who played... Um, Henry, then Snow and Charming and everybody else. And eventually when it got to the big one of Emma herself, everybody was freaking out. And the only ones that who were still like gung ho um, and continuing on was Regina, a.k.a. the Evil Queen, Rumpelstiltskin and Captain Hook. Right. So when word got out that only those three were going to be in the next season and returning for it. Everybody was over here like, well, this ain't going to be good because when you look at a show that has an ensemble cast of all these interesting casts and characters and crew and everything that make the show, and when that cast has had this big cast and now there's only three people returning from that ensemble cast, it, it's like it's not a show anymore. Not to say that this is not going to still be like the same show that it was 
it's still going to be good. Um, it also reminds me of, if you haven't seen Sleepy Hollow, the show that was also on Fox that got canceled after, like, I think four seasons, um, the there was a duo in that. And the girl, the main character in that, she got killed off in, like, season three. So this is big spoilers and stuff. So eventually her actress left, and they continued the show with the guy who played Ichabod. And I was like, well... This ain't going to be good because of the fact is we've all watched it for the dynamic of these two as a duo. It always worked. That's the same thing with like, uh, thank God this show never did it. Elementary from CBS. Having um, Lucy Liu as Joan Watson and I don't remember his name as um, Sherlock Holmes, that was the greatest duo. And they never once took either one out of it because if they did the show would have just crumbled unlike other shows where it's like yeah let's take out the ensemble cast yeah what the heck is that oh, okay the, <laughs> the shadow of my stuff um let's take out x y and z and then it's like bruh it, it's not a show anymore but with the with this show because it is about ray and claire even with having your extras who are also part of the ensemble cast but it's mainly just the focus on ray and Claire, it is still a show, but it still would have been nice to maybe at least maybe and they could still do it. We could do like a spinoff episode on Lana on seeing how she's doing. That would be interesting, but something tells me we're not going to get it because Lana and her story is now officially done. We will probably not see anything else of her in the next few weeks of this show ending. But still, it, it was a good off. It was a good ending for her. It still sucks that she's gone. That's all I'll say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of I'm in Love with the Villainous. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Monday when I come home after work for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.